Hi boys and girls. Today is our fifth lesson in our series on informational text. Here we have our features of informational text. Let's see if you can tell me about them today. One of our features is photographs. Photographs are when the illustrator takes pictures with a, you're right, a camera. Another feature of informational text is table of contents. That tells what's in a book. Good job. The next feature is sometimes there are labels. Labels tell about the picture. Good job. Another feature is diagrams. Diagrams, we haven't talked a lot about those. They're a lot like labels. But diagrams usually show you a sequence of something, of how something goes in order. Maybe we'll see some diagrams in today's book. Another feature is captions. Do you remember that captions are, you are right, a sentence that tells more about the picture and it's right on the picture. And another feature is bold face print and that is when, you are right, that's when the word is in dark print and it's the most important word on the page. And I bet by now you can tell me what's the most important thing that happens to your brain when you read informational text? I'm sure you are saying when you read informational text, you learn something new. All right, let's look for those features in our, our book today. Our book today is called Awesome Amphibians. And if you don't know what those are, you're about to find out. Awesome Amphibians, and this book was photographed by Jeff Bauer. He used a camera to take the pictures. All right, let's get reading. Here is our what? You're right, here's our table of contents that tells what's in the book. Chapter one is gonna say, meet the amphibians, and that's gonna be on page four. Chapter two is gonna be amphibian skills. That's gonna be on page eight. And chapter three is going to be Amazing Amphibians, and that's going to be on page 12. We're going to read chapters one and two today, and we'll get to chapter three again another day. All right, chapter one, Meet the Amphibians. Check out this cool creature. It may look like a lizard, but it is not one. It is a salamander. Does anyone see a label? Hmm, you are right. There it is. It says Alpine Salamander over here. Salamanders belong to a group of animals called amphibians. Frogs and toads are also amphibians. Do you see more labels? You're right. Frog and toad. This time, do you also see captions? Yes, you're right. Here, here, and here. And that's when we have another sentence on the pictures that tells even more about what's happening. Here it says frogs have smooth, slippery skin. Toads have dry, warty skin. And Sicilians are amphibians too. They spend most of their time underground. Hmm, look at him. All right, let's go to the next page. All amphibians hatch from underwater eggs. At first, they need to stay in the water to survive. As amphibians grow, they change. After a while, they are able to breathe air and go on land. Hmm, this time I see a diagram. Remember I said a diagram is a little bit different than labels. It tells what's in the pictures like captions and like labels, but it usually shows a sequence. That means something in order. So this diagram is showing us a frog life cycle of how a frog grows. They start out here one day, female frogs lay thousands of eggs in the water. And then this is what they look like at two weeks tadpoles hatch, they live in the water and breathe through gills. This is at three months, froglets have legs, they develop lungs to breathe air. And four months, grown up frogs lose their tails. They spend a lot of time on land. In that diagram, do you also see bold face print? You are right, there it is, that's the word lungs because this author decided that was the most important thing in, on this page. All right, let's keep going. Chapter two, amphibian skills. Oh, cool picture, cool photograph. Amphibians are skillful hunters. 
Toads use their long, sticky tongues to snatch bugs for lunch. Gotcha. Do you see boldface print on that page? You are right, skillful. And do you see a label? You are right, it says toad. Next page. Amphibians are great at getting around. Frogs and toads swim and hop. Salamanders crawl and scurry. Sicilians wiggle and dig. Let's take a look. What do you see this time? You are right. You see labels. This one says swim, hop, crawl, wiggle. And do you see that bold face print? Sure you do. There it is, scurry. And that's how salamanders get around. All right, and our last page for today. Some amphibians are great at blending in. This is called camouflage. Camouflage helps hide from creatures that want to gobble them up. Do you see the label? Right up here. Well, actually it's a caption, silly Mrs. D, because that's a sentence. A Pacific giant salamander hides in the woods. Here's another caption. Birds, snakes, and raccoons all eat salamanders. And bold face print, that's what I meant to say before. Yep, there it is, camouflage. And last page for today, some amphibians are great at standing out. Their bright colors warn predators. Don't eat us, we taste bad, and we can make you sick. Of course, predators is our what? You're right, bold face print. And these are called what? You're right, those are called labels. Yellow poison dart frog, blue poison dart frog, red-eyed tree frog, green poison dart frog, Panamanian golden frog. Oh, and this one's so funny. He's called tomato frog. All right, boys and girls, come with me. We're gonna head over to my desk and we are going to write something we learned because every time we read informational text, we learn something new. And then today in our picture, we are going to write a caption. All right, come on over. Okay, here I am at my desk and we are ready to write something we learned about amphibians. Remember, we have this special paper that says I learned, but if you don't have any more, please just write I learned on a piece of paper and draw yourself some lines. So today I learned many, many facts. Facts are things that are true. I learned especially that amphibians change. First they live in water, then they live on land. I think that's what I'm going to write. I learned amphibians. Hmm, where could I find that word? Oh yeah, right in the book. It was right here. That's a big word. I learned amphibians. A M P H I B I A N S. And I copied that from the cover. I learned amphibians change. Ch, ch, ch. That's my digraph. C H ch, a, n, 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 change. But I happen to know that this time that even though it sounds like a J, it's really a G. And when I have that long A sound, when I have a long vowel, it usually means there's a, a silent E at the end of the word. I learned amphibians change. There's my sentence. I need a period. Now I want to write first they live on water, then they live on land. First. First. First they, there's a word ball word, T H E. Why? First, they live. Well, give was a word wall word or a sight word. So if I know how to spell give, I know how to spell live. I'm just gonna change the beginning sound to an L. Instead of G-I-V-E, it's gonna be L-I-V-E. First, they live on, ah, n. Oh, no, you know, I should have wrote in, so I'm just gonna cross that off. Remember, when we make a mistake, we just fix it. First, they live in, Water, water. First they live in water. Then another word, wall word, or sight word, the, T H E N. Then they, again, sight word again, then they 
live, and we just wrote live up here, then they live on land. Ooh, and, it has the word and hiding right in it. A-N-D spells and, so L-A-N-D spells land. Let's see if I have it on. First, they live in water. Then they live on land. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna go back and not just add a caption today, I'm gonna go back and add all the things I've learned. So first, I want to do a bold face print. So I am going to highlight the word amphibians because I think amphibians was the most important word on my page. Remember we said one way to make it bold face print is we can highlight it. And another way is we could do it in a different color. And it's okay to have more than one bold face print word on a page, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick another word. I'm also gonna do change, because that was important when I learned was that amphibians change. So I'm kinda gonna go over that in red. Because remember we saw some bold face print words that were in red the other day. So now I have two. All right, now up in my picture, I started this earlier this morning, and I wanna add a label because we did labels last week. So I'm gonna put a label here. This is eggs. And this is a salamander. Hmm, I can find that word in my book. And let's see, I remember, oh, yep, yeah, I remember a picture of a salamander right there. And there's the word salamander. So I can just copy it from my book. That's what smart writers do. They can find words around their classroom or around their house or in books. All right, now notice today though, I drew a box up here because that's where I'm going to put my caption. Notice in my book how sometimes the captions are just sentences and sometimes they're in a box. I decided to put mine in a box. So I need to tell one more fact that I learned. I wrote that amphibians change, I wrote they live on wa in water and then on land. I think I'm going to write a salamander is an amphibian. So I'm gonna put a, and then there's my word salamander I got out of my book. A salamander is, sight word, an, sight word. A salamander is an amphibian. Remember that was the word I also got from our story. All right, take a look. I think this is really, really grown up writing. Notice how I printed my letters neatly. Notice how I did my very best work, which is what we always want to do when we are at school or at home. Notice when I made a mistake, I didn't get mad. I just crossed it off and kept going. Notice if you write your name on your paper, you should still be writing it very neatly and being careful of all of those lines and what your letters should look like when you write them on a line. So please, boys and girls, you are smart, you are working hard. I wanna make sure you're always remembering to try your best because I know you can do it. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.